Hey, Jack Carr checking in. So, busy couple of weeks ahead, got a lot to talk about today. Uh, but first off, I want to say thank you to everybody who is out there on the front lines fighting the COVID-19 crisis and to everybody who's doing their part to stay home to stop the spread of the virus. So, uh, thank you one and all. And we'll talk about a couple of things that uh, I'm trying to do here to, to help out as, as best I can. First off, Savage Sun coming in hot. April 14th. So uh, yeah, it's crazy to try to launch a, a book during a time like this and I'm doing my best to, to launch it in an appropriate way. So uh, a few things uh, on that front. Uh, obviously, there's no book tour. So there is a virtual book tour and there'll be some events posted on the website about that. But if you want a signed book, only through independent bookstores can one get the Savage Sun limited edition signed book plate. And the participating independent bookstores are on the website. So check that out, help out local business, help out independent bookstores who are struggling uh, in this time when there is zero foot traffic coming their way. Something else going on, uh, Eagles and Angels. So if you guys have been following me for a while, you know I did a Eagles and Angels hat with one of my uh, AOR1 uh, Cry Pro uniforms from Iraq. And this was that hat sold out in I think two minutes. So another one's coming this uh, Tuesday, April 7th at noon and Eastern time. And uh, yeah, the proceeds for that go to the Center for Disaster Philanthropy, COVID-19 response fund. So they support people on the front lines uh, of this, uh, of the crisis. So uh, all proceeds or 20% of the proceeds from this hat from Eagles and Angels go to supporting that, uh, that initiative. So. That's coming this week. 100% uh, of the proceeds from the Jack Carr store uh, merchandise go to the same organization, the Center for Disaster Philanthropy, the COVID-19 Response Fund. So uh, all that stuff there, boom, uh, helping everyone out there on the front lines. All right, where do I go next? Man, there's so much going on here. Uh, if you guys have been following me for a while, you will know that this was one of my favorite tools of the last year. This is the Combat Flathead, which is a collaboration between Daniel Winkler and Dom Rasso at Dynamis Alliance. So I love this thing. It's awesome. And but you can't take it everywhere. So what you can take, I'll say almost everywhere, just so I don't get in trouble. But uh, my friend John over at GLG Knife Works came up with these things. What do you think that is? Oh, is it a bookmark? Oh, is it a combat chisel? Maybe dual use technology. So he made these for the book tour, which was very cool in a bunch of different colors and uh, sent me these. And I was supposed to give them out on the book tour to people as of, uh, just for, for fun. And, uh, and I of course love them. They're any dual use technology bookmark for me. That's also a weapon. Absolutely love, but check that color out there. Boom. So made out of G10. So that is pretty sweet. So we're figuring out what to do with these things now that I'm not physically going on a book tour to, uh, to get these out there to everybody. But once again, that's from GLG Knife Works and uh, those are awesome. All right, let's see. I think I'm gonna go to books next. So April reading list is a special one. Usually I do six books each month and some of those come from a reading list that I was asked to put together for the Naval Special Warfare Center before I left the SEAL teams. Uh, so the focus of those is obviously insurgencies, counterinsurgencies, terrorism, warfare, leadership, but uh, in my monthly reading list, I pick six, and some come from that list, and others are books that I read growing up or at different points along my journey that impacted me in, a, in some way, shape, or form. So I'm gonna highlight four books only in April because these are the four books that really formed the foundation and inspired Savage Sun, which comes out April 14th. So I will hold them up here in the, the order that they were written, not the order that I read them. So, Most Dangerous Game, Richard Connell, 1924 short story. Uh, and this one I read in sixth grade. And I knew back then in sixth grade that one day I would write a fictional thriller that paid tribute to this short story. This one just drew me in. I absolutely love it. And I, I understand they still teach it at many, uh, in many schools across the country. So Most Dangerous Game, Richard Connell. Uh, and remember, if you read these, try to read them uh, through the prism of the time in which they were written. So remember, 1924, uh, and this is, it really explores the dynamic of hunter and hunted, which is what I explore in Savage Sun, exploring the dark side of man through that dynamic. So uh, short story, you can read this in about an hour. 
most dangerous game. Uh, Jeffrey Households. This one was written in 1939, but I didn't discover it until much later. Rogue Mail. Uh, author of this book was in British intelligence in World War II, but uh, this came out in 1939. So if you read this, remember that it was written in a world on the brink of war. And there are a couple lines that I left in Savage Son that specifically pay tribute to Jeffrey Household and his seminal work, Rogue Mail. So I didn't find this book or discover Rogue Mail um, or Jeffrey Household uh, until I was actually in the middle of Savage Son. I knew where I was going, uh, and, but this one really cemented it for me. So uh, thank you to Barbara Peters at uh, Poison Pen Bookstore in Scottsdale for turning me on to this book. And I should have known because he was a huge influence on one of my literary heroes, who is now a friend, uh, David Morrell, who, uh, well, he wrote the next book that we'll talk about here. But I was leaving the bookstore and I saw these. If you can't really see that, it's a matchbook and they have these retro matchbook covers. And this has a guy with a rifle in an elevated position looking down at what appeared to be a castle. And I thought, hmm, that's uh, my sniper. I caught it immediately. And uh, so I picked this up, asked Barbara what it was. And uh, she's like, you haven't read Rogue Mail? And well, now I have one sitting and uh, it had a huge impact on, uh, on uh, Savage Son. All right. Mentioning David Morrell. Boom. First Blood. Most of you have probably seen the movie. Uh, I would bet that uh, less uh, people, fewer, fewer people have read the book, but First Blood by David Morrell. This was written in 1972 and is essentially a refighting of the Vietnam War on U.S. soil. And David Morrell, of course, I, I discovered him first with Brotherhood of the Rose in, uh, in the 80s. And then I went back and later, uh, a couple of years after I read Brotherhood of the Rose, Fraternity of the Stone, League of Night and Fog, uh, the novelization of Rambo First Blood Part Two. then I read First Blood. And uh, th there's a reason that he's called the father of the modern uh, action thriller and uh, also a fantastic human being. And if you're looking for advice on writing, uh, you'd be hard pressed to find better advice than is on his website. So uh, First Blood 1972 created the character Rambo and uh, check it out. I don't want to give too much of it away because there is a spoiler if you're uh, if you haven't, uh, if you haven't, if you only know the movies, um, you'll be introduced to a different character than you're used to in these pages. So, uh, David, thank you so much. And then, last of the breed, Louis Lemoore. And I know a lot of uh, a lot of people think that he just wrote westerns, but uh, that is not the case. He wrote a few things that were not westerns, and uh, this really introduced me to Louis Lemoore, Last of the Breed. I remember I read this in the uh, the late '80s uh, summer probably a year after it came out because I read this is the exact paperback so you can tell the, the pages are a little bit yellow from the years but uh, I have wonderful memories of reading this uh, at that time and uh, I didn't go back and read it again before Savage Sun because I wanted to just revisit the memories and the magic that uh, that I have from reading it back then so um, those are the four books that really inspired Savage Son, and I'm indebted to not just these authors, but all the authors that I read uh, growing up, up until up through today, um, who really made me the author that I am today and taught me the art of storytelling. So if you want these books, uh, bookshop.org is a great place to go. Um, Simon & Schuster, my publisher, has partnered with bookshop.org, and go to them because their, their purchases support local independent bookstores, those same bookstores that are having such a hard time right now. So bookshop.org, great place to, uh, to get all your books that maybe you would usually get elsewhere. What else do we have? Donnie Edwards, oh man. Um, thank you, brother, for sending this. Uh, I sincerely appreciate it. If you guys don't know uh, what Donnie Edwards is doing uh, for, for veterans, um, definitely check him out, check out his organization. And uh, what they do is they take veterans, uh, for, in most cases on some of their last trips, and revisit some of those battlegrounds on which they fought to give us the freedoms that we enjoy today. So guys that storm the beaches at Normandy, Donnie takes them back there and uh, takes them on a battlefield tour and they get to kind of make peace with what happened there. So absolutely incredible. Uh, Donnie, thank you for all you do, brother. Um, what else do we have here? Of course, the books coming out soon. And what's used in the books? Boom. Oh, there's something cool. Uh, in the works also from Half Face Blaze. This is a Hunter Skinner and uh, this may or may not, well, I guess it may 
come into pay the play in the pages of Savage Sun. So um, for, for the knife aficionados out there, uh, you should like it. And then bam, of course, you think the Winkler Tomahawk will come into play in Savage Sun? I think you may be right. What else? All right, so this Thursday, uh, I'll put a countdown timer. Uh, Stephen Pressfield and I will be going live on Instagram Live. And these are, well, of course, Stephen Pressfield wrote Gates of Fire. Incredible guy, former Marine. Um, and these are some of the books from his reading list. So if you're not following him on, uh, on Instagram or all the platforms, uh, go check it out. And he's doing some amazing uh, little backstory on backstories on books about leadership, particularly military leadership. So my collection is growing here and I uh, can't wait to talk to him this Thursday. Uh, what a cool guy. All right. What else? I think that might be it. So once again, thank you so much for your support and the support of organizations that are uh, uh, benefiting people that are out there on the front lines uh, fighting this crisis for us. So do your part, stay home, uh, wash your hands and uh, hunker down and support those that are out there that can't do that, that have to go out and, and interact with people that are infected with the virus. So uh, remember to keep them in your thoughts and prayers. And uh, here we go. Savage Sun, April 14th. Take care, stay safe, fight on, we will prevail.